Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build regression trees for the given data set with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a data set with the three attributes assessment, assignment, and project are the attributes. Result is a target variable. If you look at the target variable, it contains the continuous values in this case. Given this particular data set, uh, we cannot build a decision tree using ID3 algorithm or C4.5 because both those algorithm expects uh, the target should be of a discrete in nature but in this case uh, the target is a continuous in nature hence we need to build the regression trees here now the question comes in front of us is uh, how to build regression trees to build regression trees uh, first we need to compute the standard deviation for the target attribute so in this case the target attribute is result we need to calculate the standard deviation to calculate the standard deviation first we need to calculate the average so we will add all these particular values and then we will divide it by uh, you can say that uh, 10 in this case so we will be getting the average in this case which is equivalent to 75 now once you calculate this particular average the next step is to calculate the standard deviation the standard deviation is always equivalent to square root of the current value you can say that 95 is the current value minus the average bracket square plus the second value that is uh, 70 minus the mean that is 75 bracket square so on the final value is 89 89 minus average bracket square in this case divided by the total number of examples that is 10 here now once you solve this particular equation you will be getting the standard deviation is equal to 16.55 so this is the standard deviation for the whole data set now once you calculate the standard deviation for the whole data set the next step is to calculate the standard deviation for each of these particular attributes. Now we will start with the first attribute that is uh, assessment is equal to good here because assessment contains three possibilities good, average and poor. So we will start with the first uh, value that is assessment is equal to good here. Now if you look at this uh, data set there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 and 5 instances are there. Uh, where uh, the assessment is equal to good here. Now, for these particular five instances, we need to calculate the standard deviation. So, again, if you want to calculate the standard deviation, first we need to calculate the average here. So, average of these particular uh, five values, uh, which is equal to uh, 95 plus uh, 75 plus 98 plus 75 plus 89 divided by in this case it is equal to 5 here which is equal to 86.4 so we have calculated the average now once you calculate the average the next step is to calculate the standard deviation again standard deviation is always equal to square root of the current value that is 95 minus uh, the average 86.4 bracket square plus 75 is the current value minus 86.4 bracket square and finally 89 is the value so 89 minus 86.4 bracket square divided by total number of examples in this case we have 5 here once you solve it you will be getting 10.9 as a standard deviation when assessment is equal to good here similarly we need to calculate the standard deviation when assessment is equal to average if you look at this data set we have three average examples are there so first we need to calculate the average of uh, assessment is equal to average here so we will add all the values divided by 3 which is equal to 69.3 standard deviation is equal to square root of the first value is a 70 70 minus 69.3 bracket square second value is 80 80 minus 69.3 bracket square and third value is 58 58 minus 69.73 bracket square divided by total number of examples in this case 3 which is equal to 11.01 here now we will go with the third one that is uh, assessment is equal to poor we have only two values this is the first one and this is the second one again we will calculate the average here so average is uh, 45 plus uh, 65 divided by 2 this is 45 and this is 65 and then uh, standard deviation is equal to 45 minus 55 bracket square here and then second one is 65 minus 55 bracket square divided by 2 is the total number of examples Again, the value is equal to 14.14 here. Now, once you calculate these particular uh, standard deviations, uh, we know that uh, with assessment is equal to GUNT, we have five instances. Assessment is equal to average, we have three instances. 
assessment is equal to poor we have two instances here now we will calculate the weighted standard deviation weighted standard deviation for this assessment attribute is equal to 5 is the data uh, instances for assessment is equal to good divided by total number of examples with respect to assessment there are 10 examples are there so 5 divided by 10 multiplied by standard deviation here plus second one that is assessment is equal to average is 3 here so 3 divided by 10 multiplied by its standard deviation and so on once you solve it you will be getting 11.58 here so once you calculate the standard deviation for assessment we need to calculate the standard deviation reduction for assessment that is the total standard deviation irrespective of uh, any attribute minus uh, the standard deviation for assessment here so once you solve this uh, equation you will be getting 4.97 as the standard deviation reduction for assessment in this case now we will go with the second uh, attribute that is assignment assignment has only two possibilities one is yes another one is no here so when assignment is equal to yes you can see here one two three four and five five examples are there now once you have five examples uh, first we need to calculate the average so we will add all the values here divided by 5 which is equal to 83.4 in this case again standard deviation is equal to square root of the first value is 95 95 minus 83.4 bracket square second value is 70 here so 70 minus 83.4 bracket square and so on divided by total number of examples in this case it is 5 here once you solve it you will get 14.98 in this case again we will go with the second possibility that is assign assignment is equal to no here now once you calculate the average the average will become 66.6 .6 and standard deviation will become 14.7 in this case now once you calculate the standard deviation for assignment next step is to calculate the weighted standard deviation to calculate stand weighted standard deviation uh, we will use this equation that is the total number of uh, data instances when assignment is equal to yes divided by total number of assignment examples in this case uh, we have five examples here divided by total number of examples are 10 multiplied by its standard deviation plus uh, 5 is the data instances divided by 10 multiplied by its standard deviation which is equal to 14.84 here once you calculate the weighted standard deviation we need to calculate the standard deviation reduction which is equal to total standard deviation minus the standard deviation of uh, this uh, assignment that is a weighted standard deviation which is equal to 1.71 the similar process is applied for the third attribute that is project the project has two possibilities yes and no so we need to calculate the standard deviation when project is equal to yes and project is equal to no i have calculated those values here when project is equal to yes the standard deviation is 12.6 when project is equal to no the standard deviation is 13.39 in this case again we need to calculate the standard deviation uh, reduction here for that reason first we need to calculate the weighted standard deviation weighted standard deviation is equal to 6 multiplied 6 divided by 10 multiplied by 12.6 here uh, plus uh, 4 divided by 10 multiplied by 13.39 which is equal to 12.92 the standard deviation reduction is equal to total standard deviation minus uh, the weighted standard deviation which is equal to 3.63 we have calculated the standard deviation reduction for each of these attributes uh, once you calculate these uh, standard deviation reduction an attribute which is having the maximum standard deviation reduction will be considered as the root node and then we will start building the tree here so in this case assessment is having the maximum standard deviation reduction so that will be considered as the root node and then we will start building the tree uh, in this case assessment has uh, three possibilities uh, good average and uh, poor here so that's the reason we have created uh, three branches and whenever we have assessment is equal to good we have uh, five examples assessment is equal to average we have three examples assessment is equal to poor we have two examples so we got uh, these uh, three branches again we need to apply the same process of uh, regression trees until we will get the leaf node so this is a simple process we need to apply uh, for the given data set so that we can build the regression trees i hope uh, the concept of uh, regression trees is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.